Hey everybody, um, oh crap, wrong way. Um, let me fix my camera position. Um, hello everybody, we are going to be going over my, I do already have a battle damage collection video uploading as of right now. Now, we are going to go over my legacy collection. Now, I don't, I have, I have more than most people. I mean, I have the, some pretty interesting toys. I mean, I got some pretty rare ones. So let's get right into it. First, let's start off with those minifigure five packs. Now, I didn't get all the five packs, but I had all the figures that came in the five pack. So I know they came with, the only real new ones are... The Pachycephalosaurus, which is like the Stygimoloch. Let's go to, go to focus on this. Um, it looks like the, the other toy that they made. Um, this, um, Dilophosaurus. Um, I got, I'm, I spilt a little bit of blue paint on it by accident. So I tried to make the green look as best as I could. Now, the frill actually is a little different. Now, I'm going to show you this once. The the one you get in the mini action dino bag is all red. And this is the one you get in the legacy minifigure. It's the one with the Brachiosaurus, by the way. So, I keep a little bit of putty on him so he can stand up. So, he's a repaint by the slightest. And here's a Lost World styled Raptor. I do know back in 2019, there was the first blind bag wave. Well, all the 2019 ones are simply re-releases of 2018's toys. And they made a special metallic version of this. This is supposed to be the Lost World Velociraptor. Um, I, don't, I need to know how long I've been filming real quick. Hold on. Two and a half minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having some difficulties. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, crap. I don't know what I'm doing, but I should stop. Here's the Brachiosaurus that came in the, the Legacy pack with the Dilophosaurus. The paint wears off on the neck. Um, a, a lot of the legacy ones are re-releases. Like that they released both T-Rexes. Here's the green one that's supposed to represent the bull T-Rex. But the one that represents the bull T-Rex the most is actually the special metallic one from the primal attack year. Here's the Parasaurolophus. I'm just really going to put them on here the best I can. Let's get that hair off here. Here's the Wave 2 Ankylosaurus. Or the brown one. This is an order variant, by the way. Here's the Spinosaurus. Now, for a while, this is the only way to get the Spino minifigure, but then they re-released it in Wave 2. Um, here's the Wave 2 Stegosaurus. Now, I do, I, I actually do prefer this one more because it kind of represents the action attack Stegosaurus. I might be able to put all the minifigures in one little row, like I'm, kind of like how I did the last video. Oh, and the, because each multi-pack is supposed to represent one of the three first movies. So they threw in the green raptor, which I think they should have repainted that. I think they should have did a re raptor repaint. There's also the Wave 2 Triceratops. This is a newer variant. Because, well, the, the newer re-releases are a little bright, brighter colored and cheaply made. Um, here's the Pteranodon. This was the only Pteranodon they had other than the Battle Damage one that they had. Up until, like, that Camp Cretaceous pack I did a, a review on. Also, I should probably mention, I have 11 copies 
And there's four different variants. Um, there's this kind. I put a little bit of paint on them. There's this kind, where his tail's kind of sticking out. Now, there is a kind that was released in, in the Destructosaurus set, but that's extremely rare. Um, I only have one of these. There's this kind. And each, each copy you could get with the, um, each of the, the legacy characters. And then I got this one with the curly tail. So I'm going to pause you guys real quick and put the other, um, other ones up. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now I'm going to go over the humans that I have. Um, let's first start off by grabbing all the, all the figures. There he is. Oh, he's dead. Um, there's Alan Grant. Um, I got him actually with that a multi, the legacy multi-pack I acquired a little while ago. I'm going to try to stand them up. But I'm actually going to Oh, I can't. I'm gonna try to keep him like this. Here's Ian Mal Dr. Ian Malcolm. For some reason, I put glue on his glasses because they they always kept falling off, and I'd go crazy looking for them. So I end up buying another one, making the one I lost the glasses to the battle damage one. And I lost um, all their accessories. I I lost them all. Um, well, I lost Robert Muldoon's gun that he had, but I still have him. God damn, I, these are so hard to stand up, you guys. So if, if I'm going slow, um, here's John Hammond, here's Kane, which came with the... He's on new Blar Escape set, which his canes got beat up. Here's Dr. Ellie Sattler. Here's Dennis Nedry. That came with the Dennis Nedry getaway pack that I got earlier this year with another figure, which I'll mention later. Now, there was an SDCC 2021, which I've, I was literally checking out, and someone took mine. Okay, now let's start off with the smaller, those $10 toys. Um, here's the get, the running Gallimimus. Oops. I'm going to try to put them all up top here. Here's the Isla Sorna Velociraptor. Now this one has like a jumping feature. There you go. Um... His mouth can move on the Gallimimus, his head and his arms can move, and his tail can kind of rotate a little bit, which I think is kind of pointless. On the Fierce Force one, it does not run. The button's, like, right here, and his n head just bobs down. They should have repainted this. This one was not available enough. The arms can move, which I think they should have done better on the arms because they just don't look good. Now, they would have looked great if they would have put striping on it. Um, I only have five of them. Well, the fifth one is a Pteranodon, which I'll get right now. I know I'm looking at them, so I won't be long. Well, I, I lied. I'll be a minute. I have a big Jurassic shelf. Like always, he had to knock one over, and he's knocking everyone else over, which really pissed fine. I'm just going to leave it. Now it's unfocused. I'm sorry. Um, Here's that pteranodon, by the way. I put him with the, there's a multi-pack that was available at Walmart and Target. I do know that there's three different pteranodons. I'm really working on, I'm working on getting those right now, but I don't know if I'll, ever be able to get them because I just have other things to get 
I'm probably gonna have to move these two real quick and then put them up or just find a better stand that I use for them because I know I have little shot glasses I use for these toys. I'm gonna try flipping it upside down. There, please ex excuse me. I'm really not prepared. Pausing, guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, that one has wing flapping action. Here is the uh, Pachycephalosaurus. I bought him off of Mercari for $30, which isn't too bad. Um, I do like this one. This is my favorite one that they've made. And then probably the Primal Attack one. Oh, you... F oh, my God. All right, I'm pausing, guys, again. Okay, guys, I am back. Here is one of the baby T-Rexes. Now, when I first got mine, his jaw was kind of hard to push down. And it kind of stays like that for a second. And he came mint in the box. I even have the little muzzle they gave him. And I know they're making a um, Amber Collection one. Okay, let me carefully stand Dr. Sattler up. Perfect. I can do a little better just to let her fall. Now I'm going to go over some of the direct, the multi-packs that they got. Um, I got, I have most of the, the Legacy Collection. I'm missing those 2019 ones with like Dr. Grant from JP3 and that female Raptor, which is one I really want. I want the Robert Muldoon one and the other, what they call the big one, which I don't think I'll ever get that. Either through, I, I'm probably not going to get either one because, I mean, they were just never released in the U.S. for some reason because Mattel just sucks at their distribution. I'm trying to get this off the tire. I, I use it to keep it from rolling off the shelf because I can't put it all the way, can't line the shelf up with the wall because the bottom of the wall just sucks ass. Um, here's the Dennis Nedry getaway pack. I pre-ordered off Target's Beyond the Gates. And, I mean, they we just got our fourth one, which is um, the Demorphodon 2-pack, John Hammond, that re-release of the first Raptor, and um, Ellie Sattler, which I think is stupid. How they don't release. Well, I'm not saying it's stupid. I just did it. Well, I didn't mean to say that. All And then the Camp Cretaceous Raptor Squad, um... The T-Rex Escape Pack and the Amber Collection stuff. All three of those don't come out until August. Um, here's that the Lufasaurus that came with it. I do like this one, though. It's nice. You got the, the little Venom thing. I've never really liked this. I think they could have done better with this. Like you, you look at it from above. And look, It swallowed a giant piece of ice. Let me fix his leg. Yeah, we're really need to hurry up. Um, here's the rest of the Isla Nublar escape set. Hold on, excuse me. Here's the banner for it, which I have hanging up. I'm gonna um, just lay them down right here. Um, these mini figures, man, they keep falling over. I have to move that Parasaurolophus over. I'm going to put it right there on the bottom. Here's one of the raptors. I, I really do like these raptors. They're really nice repaints. I'm like, okay, there you go. I did do an unboxing on this. When I, when I found it, I had to go like six different targets just to find the damn thing. Um, I'm going to probably try to put it right here next to the... There you go. Here's the crouching raptor that I got with it. 
If you want the scan stickers on these two, then go check out my video from over a year ago. Um, there's that. Um, here's a a malt a pack of four that I have. Um, here's a another Velociraptor that can jump. I really do like this one. They did good on it. Oh, damn it! Hold on, I'm being stupid. Nope. It's literally the same pattern as the orange one, but instead of orange, it's got like a greenish blue. I'm going to put it like right here next to Nedry. Here's another Velociraptor that came with it. Here is a Gallimimus. I call this one my Tiger Gallimimus. And here is a Dilophosaurus that came with it. This one is actually more movie accurate for some reason because they made an Amber Collection toy off of it, but then they decided to just change the color scheme to a more of a greener color. That's like more of a baby poop color. Um, here is one of the Extreme Chomping T-Rexes, and I do know that they released two of them. Mine is actually this variant. And buttons so stiff um i do know that there's one where the tongue was fixed on like that but i'm actually just gonna keep this one because i don't feel like having another t-rex on the shelf that looks just like this because i have like three of them that look like that since i'm done with this shelf i'm going to probably scoot you all over like i did in the battle damage video Here's the bull T-Rex, and or the buck T-Rex, and the baby. I actually painted the tail, and I actually regret doing that, even though I did a really good job painting the tail. I mean, I'm not as good as Ted Brothers, but I can do a couple repaints if I needed to. And I also painted down the tail on the baby. I think I did a pretty solid job. You can't hardly tell... And they released two of them. And as I did in my one video unboxing that T-Rex, they're actually a little different. This one's more of like um, a more baby poop green. I see that a lot. And this got like an olive green striping, while the other one's got more of a, like a grass color green with a darker green. Here's um, a fan favorite, the Spinosaurus. Now, this was never released in the U.S. It was only available on Target.com um, for about a week or so, but then they just stopped selling it. So, here's the Spinosaurus. I actually paid like 100 bucks with free shipping on this. I'm going to try to stand them up like you did in JP3, but everybody's been having that problem with theirs. I'm just going to put them right there. Um, I want to show you the other two Jeeps that I have because I got the the remote control Jeep. Excuse me a second. I got to find the remote for it. There it is. Thank goodness it's there. Now this one's got a little bit of battle damage on it. Um, it ran into a, a brick wall too hard. And part of the, the little frame on it broke off. And there's a little bit of scratching on it. Here's the the Jada Toys. I think who makes it. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, Jada Toys made this. And it had the Legacy Collection logo. So I put it with these. There's the RC Jeep. Here's the remote for it. You can just keep it in there like that. Here's the other Jeep Wrangler. No, they're the same number too. Um, it's it's smaller now that they're, they're making a Ford Explorer, and the doors on this do not open, which I can kind of understand why, because there's no roof on that. But that one does have a roof, like it should, but it's missing the other red stripe. Now here are probably the two best legacy toys I can think of. Well, one being cooler than the other. 
and one of them is more rare than the other. So hold on, excuse me guys, these are huge. And when I mean two, you can probably guess exactly which two I'm talking about. One of which is the Apatosaurus, which I got right after my birthday earlier this year. This is just ginormous, guys. Um, I, I want to have to hold my camera, and I he's not going to be able to fit in here. Like, his tail's going to have to go over the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, I share a little bit of articulation. Now, that the, now, what they tell you in the promotional image is much... Um, the actual toy is much better than what they're telling you it looks like. Um, I kind of keep his neck turned like that and his tail swinging over just to put him on the shelf a little easy. There, that looks a little better. And here's the Brachiosaurus. Oh, let me hold my tripod. I have to, I'm going to end up moving the, the like those. I'm going to put a desk like right there. I have one that's sitting outside. Now, I spilled a little bit of green paint on his tip of the snout. When I was a little younger, when I first got it, I put a little bit of clear fingernail polish inside his mouth to kind of make him look like there's drool. Um, but this is really nice, and I really like the Brachiosaurus as well. It's a nice one. I think they should go back and repaint the Brachiosaurus to the Jurassic Park 3 version. Or they can just make Mementosaurus. There's my three super colossal figures. I'll show you. Brief collection. Um, there's battle damage. I put them back. There's and, oh, let me move the stack sign back to where I need it. Come on, blue. Move. Here's my amber collection. The Jurassic Park. Raptor, Blue, the Dilophosaurus, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. The Isla Sorna Raptor, which I don't, because I broke the stand on that, so I, I gave the stand the Delta and the Pteranodon. Here's some more minifigures. There's Jurassic World 2018 Fallen Kingdom toys. Um, the Dino Rivals, I have all of them, except that Battle Damage Monolophosaurus repaint and those Legacy ones. But overall, I have every single card. I printed the three of them. Um, here's Primal Attacks slash Camp Cretaceous. Attack packs are here and Savage Strikes, uh, Sound Strikes and everything. Bigger dinos are over here. Um, here are the 2021 items. There's some new Stomp and Escape T-Rex I kicked out from Amazon. And Snap Squad minifigures. Um, I hope you enjoyed my collection for my Legacy Collection. Let me take this off its tripod.